Beneath Japan's Kuju volcano, researchers have captured real movement deep inside the Earth's crust. A seismic study led by the University of Tokyo revealed how supercritical fluids, water heated and pressurized beyond boiling, circulate through fractures several kilometers below ground. These fluids exist near the boundary where solid rock turns from brittle to ductile, a zone that controls both volcanic activity and geothermal energy. More than 1,200 seismic sensors and 800 controlled source points map the region in three dimensions. The data exposed a broad reflective layer acting like a sealed cap, holding supercritical fluids at temperatures around 370 degrees Celsius. Along that layer, small fractures disrupt the seal. Through these narrow openings, the trapped fluids escape upward. As pressure drops, they shift from a supercritical state into steam and liquid. The phase change produces micro-earthquakes that cluster near Mount Kurowiwa, one of the youngest peaks in the Kuju field. Imaging shows a vertical plume of heat-altered rock rising above the fracture zone, marked by low seismic velocity ratios and continuous gas release. The plume aligns with regions of recurring tremor and active geothermal circulation. Researchers also tracked rainfall against seismic records. Roughly nine days after major rain events, quake activity increased. Evidence that infiltrating water raises pore pressure beneath the sealed horizon until fractures reopen. This interaction between rainfall, trapped fluids and brittle faults defines a live pressure system operating inside the volcano. It connects the heat source that powers Japan's largest geothermal plants with the same forces that generate local seismic events. Supercritical fluid migration through Kuju's crust is now mapped in measurable detail, linking deep fluid flow, fault structure, and thermal energy within an active volcanic field. 